Here we observe the squirrel in its natural habitat. Wait, what's that? It looks like he's trying to say something. What are you trying to say? Why, it looks like he's saying, Good morning, Abby. It's Wednesday. But he's wrong, says the bird. It's really Friday. Yes, good morning, Abby. It's Friday, March 17th. March? <laughs> Friday, April 17th, and you know what that means. Poem Fridays, Poem Fridays, Poem Fridays. All right, so without further ado, here is my poem for this Friday. Did you just wink at the camera? Because that's like totally lame. Yeah, I did. <laughs> here we go. About when small eyes see first disappointment, and one's child's soul realizes something's missing, then begins the search for healing ointment. It's where we find it that makes all the difference. For I'm convinced that all that we are after lies far beyond our skin and what's inside. And to come outside that dark and tiny prison, I am convinced this is the work of life. To let oneself be broken into pieces so one can be put back together rightly. To let one's flame be blown out altogether so it can start again and shine more brightly. Be brave enough to try doors till one opens. Be strong enough to take it and walk through. To realize you've been trying to be like them, when what this static really needs is you. To truly sever ties with the unholy, and dream the dreams of he who breathed the oceans. To wake to sounds of angels singing sweetly. To praise the one who set the earth in motion. To want for nothing but the things that matter, and to anger over naught that doesn't. To truly learn to pray, and without ceasing and do good because of love instead of mustn'ts. To shed one's selfishness into the sea and laugh among the crashing, cleansing waves. To spread one's wings and fly and finally be. And do things even tired and afraid. To wander led by invisible maps and rediscover each discarded star. To leave at great cost what you thought you were and find at last the true thing that you are. For in my bones this deepest fire burns. It cries to be loved and love in return. The end. <laughs> okay, so for your punishment, I seriously contemplated making you put your hair in pigtails and wear pink <gasps> to class for a day, but I thought, that's a little cruel. Instead, I'm giving you a choice. Cover your face in guacamole while arguing for or against this month's high school puff resolution, which is resolved that the Employee Free Choice Act serves the best interest of the American people, or put 12 ice cubes down your pants until you've named all 50 states. Your move, girly man. That doesn't make any sense. She's not a girly man at all. She's not even a man. Yeah, but it was supposed to be funny. Well, it wasn't. <sighs> all right, so have fun picking a punishment. Um, that's about it. See you tomorrow. Or maybe tonight, actually, depending. <laughs>